Hello, welcome to this video. I am Lucille, I am a photographer and I am also working for Photo Studio in the training and onboarding team. Today I'm going to show you in detail all the features of the galleries. Please note that this video is divided into sections so you can easily navigate to any section to find the information that you are looking for. I'm recording this video with the version 1.2.3 of the galleries. Uh, there will be more evolution to the galleries in the future, so if you are watching this video in a different period of time, note that some features might look a bit different. So let's get started. When you are connected to the Photo Studio CRM, if you are already using the CRM system, uh, you can easily access the galleries by clicking on the new icon located on the top right corner of the menu here. So when you click here, it opens a new tab and you can find the galleries dashboard. In this dashboard, you will find key information such as the storage currently used by your pictures on the gallery system. Also, information regarding um, the current month's order, your revenues, the pictures waiting for retouching by you, and so on. So, as a starting point, I will um, go to the watermark section. So, when you go on the left side, you can find a menu, and here you will find this icon, watermarks. In the watermarks, you can manage the watermarks that you want to apply on your pictures because, of course, when you send galleries to your customer, you want to protect your images, otherwise they will simply do a screenshot and not buy any picture on your gallery. So, in order to protect your pictures, you can create a watermark and it can be as a, an image, so you can upload your logo, for example, or apply a text watermark. So for each option, image or text, you will find different options such as the font, the opacity or transparency, the text color, position on the image, repeat or not, and so on. We will see a bit later in the video how you can apply these watermarks in your galleries. Now let's have a look at the pricing plans. So in Photo Studio, you can define two methods to price your images. You can have a unitary method of sale and packages. So let's define unitary plan for now. You will enter a VAT percentage. Uh, let's pretend we don't apply any right now. You can make it as a default plan um, for all your galleries. So the unitary method allows you to, of course, sell uh, unitary <laughs> pictures and also apply incremental price. That means that if the customer orders one picture, he will pay, for example, 20 euro per picture. And then you can, you can make a step like five photos then the price decreases to 15 euros and then one step at 10 photos and it will be 10 euro per photo. So here, if your customer orders, for example, three pictures, then I will be in the first step. So we'll pay three times 20 euros, so 60 euros. If uh, your customer orders six pictures, then we will be at the second step. So it will pay six times 15 euros per photo. Now you can also apply a fixed price for all photos. This is not mandatory, but some photographers also sell an option for the full gallery, regardless of the number of pictures present in the galleries. And um, for example, if you price it 200 euros, and then the customer can easily click add all the pictures and pay 200 euros for the full gallery. You also can define your prices per package. So here, instead of buying pictures one by one, of course, it will choose a package. It will have to choose the exact number of files to be able to order this package. So it will be a package of 10 pictures 
for example 200 euros, then 20, maybe 300 and so on. As an option, you can also enable the sale of additional photos. So you will price additional pictures. So for example, he wants to order a package of 10 pictures and maybe the additional image will be, I don't know, like 30 euro per picture. Okay, so I will choose unitary for this example and uh, add this pricing plan. Now let's look at the email templates. So just as we do in the CRM, in the galleries, you can manage your email templates. So these templates are used for actions performed in the interface, such as sending a new gallery to your customer or sending an invoice after the customer has ordered some images on the gallery. So by going to the data section here and email templates, you can manage those templates. You can create your own templates by clicking add, or you can edit the templates already provided by Photo Studio. In the emails, we are using variables. So those variables are words in brackets here um, that are updated automatically with the data from the gallery or from the customer. For example, here, this email send the gallery link and I will add uh, the password. So I will say the password is, and then here I click on this icon here, variables, and I look at the gallery section and I click access code. So when I send this email to the customer, it will automatically take the gallery code from the gallery and update the email with the gallery code. Then I save the email template. Now let's have a look at the settings. So you can edit your settings by going to the display picture on top here, hover it and click in the settings. Here you can find data. If you are using the CRM already, you will find data that is already entered in the CRM. Everything is retrieved automatically. If not, you can enter your name, your address, um, account number, and also your link, the URL, that's um, the link displayed to show your galleries. You can also choose your color to match uh, your visual identity. Okay, below my activity here, you have your email configuration. So again, if you are using the CRM and you have already set up this option in the CRM, then everything is automatically updated in the gallery. You don't have to do it. Otherwise, here you can send how you can choose, sorry, how you want to send your emails um, regarding the galleries. So you can use uh, the no reply photostudio.io, but that's not a recommended option because it's not personalized address and sometimes it will probably go to the spam folder of your customer. You can use your own email server and enter um, technical data here that you will find from your host or your server provider. And you can also synchronize with your Gmail address. Now you can go to the payment settings. So Photo Studio is integrated with the online payment platform Modi and Stripe, so you can connect your Modi account and your Stripe account. And in other, you can enter any additional information um, if you want to offer your clients possibility to pay via bank transfer, for example, then you enter your IBAN, or maybe you want to take cash on appointment at your studio. So you can type any information here that you want. Now let's have a look at the most interesting part, which is of course the galleries. So when you go on the left menu, the second icon here is galleries. Then you can find different parts. So you can go to the recent galleries. Uh, you can find archived galleries. So when you archive a gallery, the main advantage is that it will free up some space, some storage space from your account. And if one day you want to retrieve the archived gallery, there will be a button to automatically retrieve the data. Under the trash, you can find the recently deleted galleries 
that are saved during 30 days if you want to retrieve them and after 30 days they are permanently deleted and you can of course manually delete it by clicking on this icon. Then you have the gallery settings. These are the default settings that will be applied to the galleries that you will create in the future. This is created to make you save some time, but of course, if you want to change the settings for each gallery that you create afterwards, you can of course do so when you manage each gallery. So uh, the default settings available are the working method. So in Photo Studio, we have two working method. You have the ready for sale method, which is pretty easy to understand. That means that you have edited and finalized the files that you are uploading to your galleries. And after the customer makes his selection, he will be able to directly download the pictures to his computer. You have the retouch mode, which means that you have maybe pre-edited pictures, um, but not finalized them or even upload um, raw pictures on the gallery to ask your customer to make a selection. And only after the customer has made his selection, you will edit the pictures and send him the finalized version. So the interface of Photo Studio has been designed to cover and make it easy for you to work like this. So after you finalize the image, you can upload them to the interface. It will replace the original image and the customer will find it easily under his gallery. Then you have the download options. That means that when the customer chooses his pictures or orders pictures, uh, you select which kind of format you want to make available to your customer. So your customer can retrieve high resolution files, for example, and or include also web files, which means that these are reduced files only for sharing, but not for printing. Okay, so let's go to the recent galleries here and add a new gallery. So as we said, the, one of the big advantage of the Photo Studio galleries is that they are synchronized with the CRM. So when you choose a shoot here, it's synchronized with the shootings um, from the CRM. So here, let's say that I created a shooting with Ellen Smith. I shot the, her session and now I want to create her gallery. Then I select the shoot and the data is already filled with all the data that we have already entered in the CRM. So it will uh, enter the name of the gallery, the link that you can of course edit if you want, the access type so you can make it public or protect it. I will protect it for the sake of this example with a very original access code. The contact is automatically taken from the shoot I can also enter a secondary contact. I can make the gallery available on a given date. So I will make it available already today. And I can already schedule an expiration date if I want. It doesn't have to. And the shooting date is automatically entered based on the shooting data from the CRM. You can choose any among different languages that's only for the customer interface. So if you have international customers, you can display the gallery in English, Spanish, French, Italian or Dutch. Then you can choose the working method. I will leave it to retouch to show you um, more in details how this method works. And then you can choose a pricing plan. And I will take the pricing plan that I created previously in the video. Then you can define if you want to include all the photos, if you are delivering a report, for example, or if the family has bought already all the pictures, or you can limit um, to zero picture if you want to sell everything on the gallery, or you can include a certain amount of image to choose. So we will include three pictures here for the example. Then you can choose whether you want the customer to download HD file and or web format files. And then I click add and I create the gallery. Now I'm in the gallery settings interface. 
Okay, so this is where I can manage all the data and all options regarding my gallery. So on top of the screen, you can, you can find key information. And below this information, you can find different tabs. So the first tab um, is the photo tab. So this is where you will upload pictures. So I will start by adding a few pictures. So I'm uploading files here in the interface, but there is another option to easily upload files. Uh, this option is to download the Photo Studio Uploader app. This app is available for Windows laptop and also for Mac computers. You can download it by clicking on your display picture here and click download uploader application. This application presents four main advantages. The first one is that when uploading files um, through the Photo Studio uploader, it will compress and reduce the file size, but keeping the level of quality. So it will um, decrease uh, the amount of storage used in your account. Second advantage is that it will send first the web version of the files. So um, this way, uh, all the pictures will be quickly uploaded and you will be able to start working on the design of the gallery very fast without waiting for all the HD versions to be sent. Third advantage is that you can pause and uh, relaunch the upload later on. It can be convenient if your internet connection is not as good. And last one is that it can also handle for the duplicate files. So now the upload is complete and I will have a look. Okay, now the upload is complete. By the way, you can add uh, different folders to, in order to um, organize your pictures. And you can also choose how you want to organize file by file name or drag and drop to, to, to make a custom organization. So let's have a look at the cover. Here you can design the cover of your galleries. So the cover that will be displayed to your, to your customer. First of all, you can retrieve an existing cover to copy the design from another gallery. So here you can choose another gallery. Or you can start from scratch and choose which photo from the gallery you want to display as a cover. Uh, you can choose whether you want to show your logo or not, and you can have different options as positioning this, the title where you want, the font, customize the colors, the title, and so on. And you can also choose a theme from the left side here to have some some design already made and customize them. Then under the appearance tab here, you can manage how you want to display the pictures within your gallery. So you can choose um, the spacing and the size of the image. So for example, I can choose a small spacing with medium sized pictures. Then the next tab is the watermark tab. Here you can choose if you want to use a watermark uh, in the gallery. So here I'm choosing to apply a logo on the pictures and you can choose to apply them on the thumbnails or not. If you don't apply them on the thumbnails, it will um, be applied only on the pictures that are enlarged in the interface. I will show you a bit later how the customer view the gallery. The next tab is the stats. So here you will have statistics regarding the people visiting the gallery, the most viewed pictures and so on. And the last tab is the invoices. So when your customer makes orders on the gallery, then you will find all the invoices here. So now let's say that my gallery is ready and I want to share it to my customer. So before sending the email to your customer, always check that your gallery is online here. If not, then click on the button. Then in order to share the gallery, you click on this button here, send. It will open a new window and uh, you can see that um, the email templates that we have previously edited is already pre-filled here. So you can edit the template if you want, if you want to make it more personal. And the variables are updated 
when you send the email. So you don't see the actual first name here, but of course, when the customer receives the email in their mailbox, of course, the data will be updated with the first name, the link, and the actual code. Then I click send to share it with my customer. So now we will check how it looks from the customer point of view. This is the email um, that your customer will receive. So it will be able to click on this button here to see the gallery. Of course, first of all, the customer has to enter the passcode and validate. You can see all the pictures and click on the pictures to make it bigger and navigate. So we can navigate with the keyboard or by clicking on the arrows here on the screen. You can make a selection here, so we can mark pictures as favorite or add the picture to his selection for the basket. You can also launch the slideshow. You can also make a selection on the thumbnails, so we can also add it to the favorite or add it to the selection. To show you an example, I will add a few pictures to the selection. So here I can see that I have a package of pre-purchased image, including three pictures, but I added a total of five to my basket. So here I'm going to the basket and I can see that I have three pictures that are free of charge and I have two additional pictures that are priced 20 euro per pictures according to the pricing plan that we have previously created. Then I click here and I order editing. So as everything is synchronized with the CRM, um, then the address and name is already filled for the customer. And if I have set up an online payment with Stripe or Molly, then the customer is able to easily pay by credit card. But in this demo account, I did not. So I can only display the other payment method, such as bank transfer detail. Then I click order and the order is successfully sent. So now I'm going back to the photographer's interface. First of all, you can see here that we have a notification feature. And here in the notifications, I can find the last selection made by Helen Smith and I can open it. So it opens the gallery and here I can see that I have five photos that have been ordered that I need to retouch. Um, here under the retouch tab, I can see that the order is waiting for payment. So I cannot work on it already because the customer has not paid. So if the customer had paid with a credit card, it will be automatically marked as paid. But here I don't have set up any online payment on the gallery. So I will pretend that the customer has paid in any other way. Uh, so I will go to the invoice section here. That's the invoice of the last order that we made. And I will add the payment. So I will say that the, she has paid with a bank transfer. Okay. Now I can see that the pictures have been paid. So now I can edit them. I can select all or select them one by one. And here I have a feature to copy the file names as a list. And I can easily use the search function in Lightroom, if I'm using Lightroom, to retrieve the chosen pictures and edit them. Now let's pretend that I have finalized the editing of the picture. So I will select all of them and I will click Upload Retouch Photos. They are replacing the original files within the gallery. So now the upload is complete and I can approve to publish the pictures. So now I can see that the pictures will be placed in a new folder for the customer named Retouch Photos and the original files will be removed from the gallery. And now I can easily send an email to the customer saying that his order is available. And now let's see how it looks. Okay, so the customer has received the email and when you access his gallery now, he, under the orders here, you can see the delivered pictures and um, easily click on download photos. It creates an archive and then you can easily download the archive to his computer. As we said previously, the big advantage of the galleries from Photo Studio is that they are synchronized with the CRM system. 
in the left side menu here, you can find contacts and these contacts are synchronized with the CRM data. And you can also find invoices uh, synchronized with the CRM invoices. So you can find the invoices from the shootings and from the galleries in the same place. That means that you can also have synchronized data in the CRM. So in the CRM system, when you go to accounting here, under invoices, you will find all invoices, including the orders made on the galleries. For example, here we can find the invoice from the example shown during the demo. And then if I click on Helen in the shooting, I can find invoices corresponding to the shooting, the original shooting ordered, and also the additional sale done on the gallery. In the shooting administration interface here, I can also easily create the gallery. So here it's an existing gallery, but I can access it very easily. And if I'm handling a new or ongoing shooting, I can also create the gallery from here. There will be two main evolutions um, coming by the end of 2022 in the galleries. We will have a new modules designed for wedding photographers, allowing different uh, things, such as providing an access dedica dedicated to the bride and groom and a different access for the guest view. And we will have an online shop coming allowing you to offer prints and other products to your customers on top of digital files as it is already provided in the galleries. I hope this video helped you and answered your questions. Otherwise, note that we are still available to help you. Thank you for watching and see you soon.